Happy Monday morning, YouTube. Been messing with the planner in the cab, getting the business radio in, and doing the stuff for the iPad, all kinds of different stuff like that. But more on that later. Right now, we're going on our first scouting trip of the year. the winter annuals are up get a little weedy this is a field that we stripped till last fall which it's just tilled up right here every 30 inches which is hard to tell in this spot because all the weeds in between not worked every 30 inches worked put the fertilizer right there banded it down there so we're we did that in the fall and we're just gonna come back this spring spray it to kill it and then plant right into it not working it anymore but uh i'm out here it's supposed to rain tomorrow see if it's dry enough for fs to come spray this with their floater tires most of it is a few wet spots i'll look around just a little bit more well they're gonna try it hopefully they don't get stuck Guess who made it home? Lucky there, with a fresh new paint job out of Owensboro, Kentucky. Woo! She about looks brand new. That's a good looking tractor. Been working on my little command center today. Um, and another screen, which will be the iPad, which is used for uh, communicating the climate. So all of our stuff's up on that and for mapping. And also got the business radio in. Speaker, place hand the, hand in the mic. So see out the window a little better. Um, Looked at the book, see where to hook up the antenna at. It was supposed to be back here, but I, it just wasn't quite there. It was back there somewhere, so I had to take the top off to see where it ran. After I saw where it ran, I took this headliner down a little bit and then was able to get it out and string it up there. And had a handy little power uh, place to plug into the power right here, and then a nice USB charging point right here for the iPad. So, uh, so far, like in this cab. But I'll show you all that with it turned on here in a minute. But first, filling up our liquid tank with water. Gonna run outside, do uh, different stuff with the screen, try and get co climate connected with the iPad. I'm gonna run water through the whole uh, liquid nitrogen system, see if we got any leaks, and start the calibration process with water. Which I know probably won't be exactly the same as 28, but at least get us in the ballpark. And don't take make as big of a mess and it's not corrosive and uh, we can spray water on the ground it's not bad for the environment and all those other disclaimers that i'm forgetting but we'll fill it up with water check it for leaks start calibrating had it out playing with it didn't get much video because i have much success can't get the fertilized pump to run for some reason i don't know didn't get much done today not as much as i'd hoped See you tomorrow. A 
little look at my command center how it's going to look this year got the radar up right now as you can see it's going to rain later so wanting to check this uh the liquid fertilized system for leaks and calibrate it with water before it starts raining because then that'll make it impossible to do that stuff but was able to figure out why i couldn't get the run yesterday because i called brian brian called me back which works at jnl which if you watched this last spring i was always leaning on uh, jeremy at john deere this spring i'll be leaning on brian at jnl to help me through all the stuff i don't know but uh it's not a box clicked right in one of the pages on the screen but gonna hop out now and check for leaks first thing Click this. That's how she'll be coming out. It's coming out all the rows, and it's not coming out any place that it's not supposed to be coming out. So, uh, good job to the guys down at HR AgriPower for hooking her up. Must have hooked her up perfect. Nice job, guys. Now, time to calibrate. Calibrating. Got this nice little tether switch that hooks in the back of the planter to turn the liquid on and off. Got one minute of catching to do. See how close their uh, catcher is to what it's uh, supposed to be at their minute. And then uh, repeat that for at least three of them and uh, proceed from there. Calibrating done collecting samples see if we can figure out how to do the rest of it I did have to put um, what my rate was going to be and how fast I plan to be planting 10 gallons at least to start with and uh, 10 mile an hour is why I want to at least be able to go that so with that with our one minute catch should have been catching 64.6 .6 per nozzle which pretty sure it's per row it measured that we did this much I measured that we were dead on at 64 and I did it on uh, it said to do three different spots tether switch reaches farther farther that way so I just about made it to an end row middle row then as far as I could reach that way and they were all 64 ounces I did find one leak <laughs> But it was just a little loose there and uh i'll tighten it up and uh see if she leaks or not still got i don't know hard to say five gallons in there might as well run it all out make sure it's not leaking anywhere so do that now or after i hopefully get this all done here finished up uh my actual was 64 enter this is was when you find this on the actual pump that number now we'll press cal and we'll do that all conditions i'd say probably yes or went from 242 to 244. now i'll probably go back and do that one more time make sure i didn't mess anything up and if i didn't i'll leave it alone if i did i will repeat that several times and continue to check for leaks the whole time while I'm doing it. One thing for any of you to note that are doing this, um, the screen said to collect per nozzle, which was only about half as much as I needed. And then been perfect if I took it times two. So evidently, if you have it on both sides of the row, so just one, even though the screen says per nozzle collecting, do it per row. At least that's what I think. Ran it again and got 61. Maybe I shouldn't have messed with it. Now I gotta try again. All calibrated. Uh, got all the measurements and all set up in the iPad for uh, climate. Go fill her up and take her back in the shop. Put a new toolbox on it. But first, time to start getting the sprayers ready. 
We park them both in this shed where there's barely room because this, besides the shop, this is the only one that's insulated and heated. This way we don't have to winterize them. They're only in here this tight during the winter. So I'm watching him while he backs out because it is tight. Well, the R4045 is out. Just get the STS-12. Surely it won't freeze from here on out. And if it does, which it might, we'll just run this one in the shop where it's easy to get in and out. Don't have to worry about hitting each other. Woo, she is tight, but she makes her. I'm just gonna clean her up and we'll start getting all of our chemicals in for this year. Store it in here because it doesn't freeze and we got heat in case you've done it. Most chemicals, you know, you don't want to freeze. Already got our seed treatment in here. We do treat our beans with Antigo fungicide and Preside uh, biologicals here. Uh, inoculant. Oh, hopefully, I usually like doing that the last week of March. Hopefully get that done. Looks like we got a lot to get done to get ready for spring. Not much time to do it. But a lot of guys on the road, we should get all of our contracts full this week, be good to go. There'll be a lot more people here on the farm instead of on the road and then knock a lot of stuff out in a hurry. And then... Be just like every other year. We'll figure it out and we'll get her done. Well, I'm disappointed to see on the cases. I remember this from the last time we had one. We got these uh, big fuel hoses so we can fill up tractors a lot faster. Can't do that with these. You gotta really baby them because it fills up too quick and shuts it off. And you think it's clicked off and it's full, but then you look, you've only got like three quarters of a tank. So, ain't that big a deal, but this is vantage case on this one. Deer, I can fill it up with this and leave it. When I come back and clicked off, it was full. So you might have to squeeze out just a little bit at the end. Not a, not a quarter of a tank. Both companies do this. Just give you these dinky little toolboxes. So we're gonna put a bigger toolbox on it. Hopefully it fits the same one David's got inside of his truck and really liked, really liked it. So man, it's big. As long as it fits, it'll be real nice. So we'll find out. I would open it up, but I didn't, I didn't take it out of that yet. Slightly more room. Gonna have to make a different bracket for it to go on. Besides just bolting the back, might have it come under and support it because it's gonna be a lot of weight there. But before we get doing all that, since Garrett's transitioning from uh, being a truck driver in the winter to being our spray man pretty much all grow growing season long, the W900L is also uh, transitioning. So being a grain hauler like it is in the winter for the rest of the year we pull our uh our spray trailer with it garrett was going over it found that we got some back tires drive tires not looking real good gonna replace these three this one's new it still looks okay and one of the steer tires possibly two of the steer tires 
But I'm gonna go do that, run to town, get something to eat while I'm there, while I'm waiting for them to get them changed. And then I'm uh, bring it back, pick up to the spray trailer for him, and then bring it back to the farm because it's over at David's house right now. look better thanks to the guys at the uh, best one tire Vincent we're gonna sup with those now I'm going to hook up the spray trailer here at David's and take her back up to the farm so we can start getting it ready to roll for this season got her back Garrett's gonna take her and start putting stuff on it about just a little bit. I have a couple shuttles on there for those of you who uh, weren't with us last year. More chemical and that's about a 5,000 gallon tank there for water. It's definitely dry enough to spread and I think it's dry enough to work so uh, we will head back to the farm and uh, Get the speed tiller hooked up and start getting her set up. Let's see if we can get her set up right and we'll bring her back over here and we'll work this really light because there's barely any weeds up. It's a really sandy field is why we think it's dry enough. And uh, also, these real sandy fields like this, I kind of like working them and then letting them get rained on before I plant them. Then they just plant a heck of a lot better. Time to do a little shuffling. We got two new planters in the way. Uh, so move them out of the way. Grab one of these two uh, 620 quads. Then uh, hook to the new Case IH 475 speed tiller. Uh, that showed up on Christmas Eve. Lonnie Ford brought it from H&R AgriPower out of Princeton, Indiana. Pretty good dealership. Good people to contact for whatever your farm needs.
as you can see, sometimes it takes a long time to get a piece of equipment hooked up and do a little equipment shuffling. But we got her out, gonna unfold it, try and get it halfway set right here before we even go down there. Make sure everything's hooked up the right direction, which if they label the hydraulic hoses that right they are, stuff like that. But I've never ran this before. Dad's the only one that really ran it last fall to any great extent. I did a half a day with it. Case I H Speed Tiller 475. This one actually hasn't been ran at all yet. We demoed another one this fall. And now we got two of them. So do what we think about them. Go over it more later. But one feature this one has that nothing else we do has is a hydraulic jack. Not necessary, but quite handy. But first, we gotta figure out how to unfold it. Semi's everywhere. Dad loading, Andrew's bringing some fuel. Gordy waiting in line. We're gonna send him the load too. Speed tiller's ready to go, I think. David's gonna run that. I'm gonna go take his place, clean out a grain bin. Here he comes. You too. I'm at the old place. My buddy Michael, he's gonna load me up. Got some wonderful stuff. Getting the garden ready. Got this, he's gonna load me up. Oh my, that is good stuff. And then after he gets that loaded up, he's gonna load up some of this mulch. What used to be mulch. Now I used to put in chicken run. Kept the run real clean. 
but it's pretty well too far gone it's like dirt it still needs it's like dirt once i sift it it's good good stuff good good look at that that's called pristine garden dirt buddy grow the good stuff here he comes oh even sissy's driving hi sissy hey you're gonna be on youtube by the way <laughs> sissy driving a tractor collecting this stuff for years i think i've had this mulch three years oh yeah whatever you do don't hit don't hit my truck boss man will kill you kill me kill me oh my look at that Woo. started the rain so party's probably over i did get done robson just won't get anything any of the dish banks pushed down around home but at least we got this much done and since i'm not trying to beat the rain that means i can go eat so that's good friday over indiana shed toolbox i was gonna use on the 380 not gonna work so this was on the a 345r Hopefully that mounts to the front plates, or it did on that one. Spray paint it if it fits. Mount that. Got some tools. That was in the 620RX. Not the uh, video in a whole lot today or yesterday because I thought I had a lot of content from earlier in the week. But today had uh, earlier Ryan and Noah Bullockman come up, help me to try and figure out how to get the guidance lines that I was using. On this strip tiller that I was pulling with a 9620RX deer from that to the 380 Magnum because this is a 40 foot. Gonna be following it with a 60 foot. Just make it a whole lot easier. I had the guidance line. So that's what I've been doing today. So thanks for watching this week. See you next week. Hopefully, hopefully. We'll have a lot of field work for you next week because there was a lot of rain changes this week and all we've really gotten now but so far is like two tenths but we got a half a chance tonight so if we miss tonight uh good chance we'll be doing a lot of spraying field work and even uh plant by the week next week plus moving seed around and uh we need to treat our soybeans too so see you next week